I don't think it matters how old you get. There is nothing like September for kind of bringing back that back to school feeling. You kind of want fresh start, new pencil case and new school uniform. If you work in an office, that uniform looks like your workwear wardrobe. And I think it's the kind of something about the time of year, that kind of back to school feeling. I think it's a time when a lot of us look at our workwear wardrobe and kind of go, I do not think I can create another five days worth of outfits out of this. I can dress myself on a Monday. By Friday, I have lost the will to live with it. I cannot pull another interesting feeling outfit together. Every outfit starts to feel samey. You're kind of turning to the same uniform again and again. Or even worse, you've got too many clothes. You're trying to pull outfits together every morning. Nothing goes together. Everything is a challenge. It's frustrating and it, nobody wants to ruin that September back to school feeling. So what I want to talk about in today's video is really how to fix that, how you can build a really, really simple 11 item capsule workwear wardrobe that is going to fill your wardrobe with options. Even if you only have those 11 pieces, you're still going to be able to create more than 30 different individual feeling outfits. And once you start to build in your favorites from your existing wardrobe, the options are literally limitless. So what I'm going to do is show you the pieces in that wardrobe, talk a little bit about how you can build your own, and then actually show you some of my favorite outfits from the 11 piece capsule that I've put together. So the first thing you'll see when you look at the rail next to me, which has got my 11 piece capsule wardrobe on it, is that it feels really cohesive, really harmonious. And that is kind of at the core of building your workwear capsule. So color palette is where I always start. Mine's obviously really autumnal toned. It's kind of ripe for the time of year. It's got like rich berry tones, but the key is that everything really harmonizes. It goes together. I could pull any couple of pieces out of that selection and they're all gonna mix and match in color terms. I think it's the starting point for any capsule wardrobe. Mine is related to my own personal color profile. You can actually find yours if you want by following the link below to discover your color profile and kind of start to find your own palette. But the key is that it's a cohesive palette and you'll see also it's quite a limited number of colors. I've really only got, let's say, one, two, three, four, perhaps five colors in there. So it's not trying to be too clever, although there's a couple of brights in there. It's all kept very anchored with those cream tones and that dark berry tone as the neutral and then just a couple of pops of bright color. So I've kept it all really quite simple. So let's look at the pieces that I've chosen to kind of build that capsule wardrobe. So I'm obviously wearing three of the pieces of my capsule wardrobe right now. I've got a berry colored kind of relaxed fit blazer, classic blue denim jeans. I've got a champagne creamy colored roll neck, just like a fine jersey roll neck. On the rail behind me, I've got a mock tee in a kind of dark olive green color. I've got another one of the roll neck I'm wearing. Uh, I've got like a moss colored merino sweater, uh, a really lightweight cotton knit sweater. Uh, I've got another roll neck exactly like the one I've got on, but in a um, colour pop from mustard. Uh, I've got cream tank top, so keeping that neutral in there. Uh, I've got burnt orange, again lightweight layering piece, but this time with a crew neck, so I haven't only got that high neck available to me. I have got a second tank top. You'll see there's a couple of duplicates here, just in slightly different colours, again in that rich berry tone. And then I've got the matching suit trousers to go with the blazer I'm wearing. So what I'm going to do is start putting together a few outfits and kind of showing you how I build combinations. I won't bore you by putting all 35-ish outfit options on, but uh, I'll talk through some of my favorites and kind of how you can mix and match. Starting with what I've got on, this is my kind of like day-to-day, -day, I guess. I don't have serious meetings. I'm in the office. I wear a lot of jeans. I think it's manageable in a lot of offices now, but if that's not your office environment, those could be changed for kind of relaxed, um, kind of casual trousers, you know, sensible neutral trousers. Uh, but jeans and a top and a blazer is my kind of go-to office uniform. Not too kind of overly bold and bright. I'm not doing anything too clever. I would just wear it with trainers or maybe low heels if I wanted to smarten it up a bit, but just keeping it quite easy for everyday office wear. Instant outfit elevation. I've kept the same blazer, kept my roll neck on, but I've added the suit trousers in that same berry tone. So I've got a full smart suit look. And I've actually also added the kind of Merlot colored tank top as well. Extra cozy layer, quite like in the retro vibe, but also means I can do a bit of layering, make this outfit feel a bit more casual as well. So it's a little bit multifunctional. Cotton knitwear is really useful for that kind of funny autumn transitional weather. So I've just gone for that lightweight cream cotton knit, layered up with that fine crew neck, adds a little bit of color interest to what's otherwise a fairly plain outfit. 
And I've sized down in the knitwear as well. It can be hard to wear like a casual sweater to work, but going for a slightly more fitted, neater look with more relaxed trousers is a good way to kind of blend that smart casual. And playing with the colors is quite nice to kind of bring in a little bit of the feel of the time of year and add a bit more interest to that wardrobe. Okay, so let's keep the layering concept, transitional weather, but make it feel a little bit more casual again. All right, we're going full autumn retro in this, loving the 70s vibe here. Gorgeous, kind of that burnt orange, paired with a really neutral tank to kind of, A, adds a bit of smartness, a bit of warmth, but pairing the neutral cream and the denim with that bolder orange just kind of anchors it all, helps it feel really wearable, but keeps some of that kind of fun retro vibe. Kind of again, perfect, maybe working from home or just popping into the office kind of outfit. Easy, probably do it with Chelsea boots or something, keeping it all quite low key. Uh, for my next outfit, I'm gonna show a slightly cozier option. Definite dress down Friday outfit, but still keeping it quite neat, quite fitted. Probably pair this again with trainers or ankle boots, something quite casual and low key, but keeping it super cozy. This is a merino sweater, so it's just a little bit cozier than the cotton options. Nice for a bit of autumnal layering, loving the way the colors kind of tie in with the time of year as well. But just super low key, layered up in a tonal look as well. I've got that mock tee on underneath for a bit of extra warmth, but just all nice and laid back, low key. For my last outfit, I'm gonna keep the autumnal feel, but take it full circle, almost back to where we started. So we've come almost full circle with the last outfit. I've got the blazer on that I started with, the jeans on. All I've done is change into that other fine roll neck. So it kind of shows how much you can just flex like one piece in an outfit and really change the look of it. Where the other one was much more minimal, kind of low key. This is playing up that kind of fun color pop, feeling a little bit more of a 70s color combination vibe. So it just shifts that look. And it's what makes a capsule wardrobe work really well is those little changes that can create a completely new look, whether it's layering up the tank, changing the blazer for a knit, using the suit trousers to kind of elevate the look. Uh, obviously also you can play around with things like footwear and accessories that can mix things up further. But I hope what this video has shown you is that really it's just small changes that can change the whole way an outfit looks, the feel of it, how elevated it is. There's so much you can do with just those 11 pieces. Obviously, I've only shown you my six favorite outfits here, but the options are almost limitless. With just those 10 or 11 pieces, you can genuinely create 30, 40, maybe even more different outfits. And it really shows how just changing a top, changing the trousers can really freshen things up. I've linked all the pieces I've shown in the description below. But I think if you take one message from this, it is that the color palette and having those pieces that mix and match is really what makes the whole process kind of easy. It makes it work. It makes choosing the right neutrals really easy. I've linked the color profile in the description below as well. So you can go and find yours and start building your own workwear capsule wardrobe.